Welcome back, everyone. This is Bethro Butkin of Seven. And Alex. And Drug Central. And Tentacle. And this is the Misty Maze of Mystery in Dr. Evil's Mega Complex. And in the last part, we started this level. <laughs> yeah, it it's a big, big maze level, and uh, we did some, uh, some discussion off camera, and... Uh, it seems that this room, at least, would be the starting point from which we want to take on all of these rooms. Because for this one, once we clear the door, we'll, be able, uh, we'll only be able to clear this trapdoor puzzle from there. And then, this room, we need to get in through here in order to, have, uh, to get the jump on the snakes. And then, to get this room cleared, we have to get the guards to stab the tar. And so on and so forth. So yeah, I'm guessing now we have to do this little bridge puzzle, the Euler bridge puzzle. So I'm guessing starting from here would be what we'd want. My only worry about doing this now is I wonder if there are other rooms we have to actually clear first to uh, start the the larger meta puzzle. Oh uh, yeah, I, uh, I would hope not. Yeah, hopefully, like, the meta puzzle just leads to another required room, so it's just one of the things you have to do to clear the level. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing and hoping that it, that's what it is. I made a save in case, and if it turns out that we have to redo this again, we'll do it off camera. Yeah. Sure. Alright, so, trapdoor puzzle time. Hmm. Think I want to go there? Clear up the edges, at least, so that uh, the picture will be a bit clearer. Yeah. Well, I think this is working out. Is it? Yeah. This should work. Yeah, I'm getting it. Yeah. 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 That's a lot easier than it looked. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is. Just about finding the right entry point. Okay. So, from here, try another trapdoor puzzle. I think this is what I want to do. Hmm. From here, oof. I think I want to go in here. And then from there, I want to go to the left. I'm guessing there's an orb, but no one cares. Mm. Dead is dead. Alright. I think. Hmm? It's, no, it's fine. It's fine. Oh wait, no, no. I no. I think you need to go um, on the trapdoor north of the uh, oh, switch. Yeah. You want to go east instead. No wait. So here you mean? Uh, go west, and then go east on the next trapdoor instead of south. Oh, wait. No, that does. Oh wait. No, yeah, it works. Okay. I thought I'd gotten trapped, but no, there's, there's a way to the south. Okay, so, yep, yeah, from here, this, 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 and clear. So now it's time to kill some snakes. Oh, boy. I think I want to do that. And a brain, too, <laughs> of course. So, I guess getting one trapped isn't too bad. I could get them trapped on one another, that'd be pretty cool. I'd want to kill the red snake first, because there's not really any other way to kill. It's really hard to get them trapped on each other if they're brain Oh, down. there we go. Oh, nice. Oh, alright. Uh, that almost did the job. It's a good start. Yeah. Snake is clean for his dear life. Yeah, he is. I can get them to sandwich this guy. No, wait, no. Nope. They sandwiched me. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think they have to be, like, for that trick to work, they have to be all at the same point. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. Nope. That's bad. Don't do that. Okay. 
Maybe this will do something. Stairway to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there we, we go. Uh, no. He doesn't want oh, to. No. Yeah, oh, wait. Oh, oh, what? Hey. Oh, yeah, he because, goes through the body. Oh, the head. Yeah, the head. Yeah, the head. Not a brain visible obstacle. Oh. Well, that was a lucky miracle. I won't complain. Alright, so if I can get some. If I can somehow get these guys stuck on one another with head shenanigans, that'd be pretty neat. Yeah, it's probably just going to be easier to. Uh... To do it the long way though. Hmm. Yeah, I think stabbing will ultimately be the simpler option. I'd like to get someone trapped though, that'd be pretty nice. I definitely appreciate how Gigantic Jewel Lost usually keeps its puzzles short. Yeah. Yeah, they seem to be pretty linchpin-oriented. Although there is some pretty evil manipulation rooms from what I've seen. There is, but it's manipulation that like you just have to do once, and it doesn't take that long. Yeah. There's nothing... well, there's a few long rooms. There's, there's one where you have to manipulate an adder to eat a bunch of blobs of gel while you're on... Um, Ormites. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But for the, most, for the most part, um, most of the rooms are just a couple hundred moves. Yeah. yeah, this definitely kind of has the feeling of a first draft. Like, there are some great ideas, but it definitely seemed like it could have used a bit of polish. Yeah. Just kind of made a giant square, threw in some snakes, and called it a day. Yeah. Killing the red snake was interesting, but yeah. these two, it's just... Yeah, this would have benefited from having like a place where you could just throw the rattlesnakes and have yeah. hot tiles or fire traps kill them after that. I mean, so, it's 2.0 holds, so you yeah. don't have that. Yeah, that is true. I'm just... Yeah. I'm just kind of thinking out loud now. Yeah, fi fire traps are probably like one of the most useful things to make the cleanup phase easier. Yeah, definitely. And that's way it, to... you know, it, it allows you to do a lot of stuff that would be tedious without them. Yeah. They really do help. Alright. So hit the orb. And there's a thing with the trapdoors, uh, if I forget. With that, check with that checkpoint placement, if you miss that orb, you have to start over. Like if you just forgot to hit the orb. Hmm. Alright. Yeah. I guess I can see not wanting to have a checkpoint in the middle because it would make the the snake manipulation that much easier, but still, eh, it'd be better if it were there. Yeah. Wait, what? Actually, I wouldn't understand why you wouldn't want a checkpoint in the middle. Like, difficulty by not having a safe yeah. point? Yeah, I, I'm, I cannot agree with that. Yeah, it's not usually a good idea. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's not a legitimate means of difficulty. It's artificial difficulty and that's really good yeah. in fact that's mostly the kind of thing i'm complaining about in subterra like the lack of safe points only makes things more frustrating for the player okay I think yeah, I want to especially, hmm? yeah especially when things are deterministic and they'll always you know they'll always work out the same way and there's no like execution difficulty yeah that's yeah that's pretty much what i was saying too yeah. games like, like, like yeah, because it's very different. To, like, a long stretch between Bonfires and Dark Souls makes sense because if there's execution difficulty, it adds a lot of tension. Yes. Yeah. It's appropriate in, in that game, but in Subterra, the lack of save points only makes things tedious because right. uh, Subterra, for one, is not an action game and neither is Drought, so. Yeah, so once you know what you're doing and you're just executing the same steps, there's no tension. It's just. Yeah. I think it's broken walls. I think I want to break them to make things easier. Alright, so snake trains. Those are fun in King Dugan's Dungeon. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Ooh. How about this? Hmm. Oh, this is not too bad. Okay. 
Right, golems and goblin. I think I want to keep the goblin alive. Ooh, the goblin has to stay alive, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Oh boy. Oof, I think that was not good. Hmm. Oh, 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 there we go. Turn it around. Literally. Okay, here we go. Nice. So, now we kill the snakes. I'm not too sure. I'm guessing that was the meat of the puzzle, keeping the goblin alive. Not too sure what's yeah. up with the snakes and the broken walls, though. Yeah, they could have easily just made one snake that you need to kill the goblin. Yeah. Easily, yeah. What? No, what I'm actually curious about though is the broken walls. What were their point? Why did I need to break them? I mean, I did break them, but I don't see why I did. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get this guy up here, and uh, then death will happen to everyone. Thank you for helping me. This is your prize. You get to die. <laughs> Alright. And now well, we can actually see what's to the west. Oof. There seems to be a secret. Hmm. Oh! That's how we get in there. Interesting. Right. This does look like... Oh yeah, that looks like a uh, regular broken wall, right? Uh, over here? Yeah. Yeah, that's a secret wall, actually. Oh, it is a secret wall. Okay. Yeah. So... Alright. We have to use brain, roach to, uh, brain roaches to kill snakes. Oh boy. Okay, just gotta hold them at bay. We. Alright. This is gonna be. Oh no, there we go. Oh no. There we yeah, go. The more, you, the more you kill, the more it's gonna be harder to hold them. Yeah. Oh, roaches don't know where to go now. Yeah, because I think you gotta plan out the uh, the order to kill them. In. Hmm. Yeah. Perhaps. If possible. Roach trying to sneak up on me. Okay. Let's see if I cannot get this to happen. Yes. I think really as long as I'm careful about them, where I pretty much put the roaches, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, just be careful when they when they split up. Yeah, that's definitely the, th the part I have to be worried about. And the trickiest one's gonna be the center one, because... Yeah, you might want have to... a lot of space. I'm yeah. thinking of killing the roach on queens room. after that. You might want to turn on, on room lock. Oh. Since you're like about to step. Yeah, could be ideal. Okay, let me spin around here. Oh, actually it'll slide in. And I can actually have this one slide in. Oh, oh there you go. Take care of that. Could have tried to do some damage on that one to the left, but uh, to the right, but... Eh. Get out chance. Wait. Oh, no, there we go. Oh boy, okay, this is gonna be a bit trickier. Oh, no, not quite. There we go. Boom. Oh, not nearly as bad as looked. Yeah. I didn't really actually think it would be all that bad, to be honest. It's not a giant complex trap or puzzle. That sure. helps. Okay, so this one has two entrances. 
Okay, gonna hold them off for a bit. And I guess, uh, do, 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 do now. There we go. Oh, this is not good. Should try to go for the bottom of them. You can kill what? one of the hmm? British Queens now, right? Oh, yeah. Like I said. <laughs> Was there something between those force arrows at the start of the room? I'm wondering why they're was. there. I, I think they're probably there just to block out... Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. I think they're, they're there to block the brain and make it so you can't get through, but a wall does that. It was, yeah. it, was prob um, it was probably there. There was something there that... No, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> the mystery of the nonsensical arrows. It is a mystery, again. But it also looks like that once we clear this room, we don't have to worry about redoing all this path because this is an end. Like, there is no required... Yeah. And since since we also dropped the green door in the room to the west, I mean to the east, it's... Uh, we could always just go through that again to get back here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there we go, that's the last snake. Yeah, it seems like we're not going to be getting stuck after all, which I appreciate. No, I don't remember if we actually discussed that part on, uh, in the video, but... Yeah, basically one of the things we were afraid of is that this whole path would lead to a dead end. I think we might have brought that up in the video. Yeah. Oh, you, you can also leave from the west here. To, uh, to the we haven't seen. Huh? To the west? Oh, never, never mind, never mind, that's okay. <laughs> Okay, so there, there is a there is a west direction though. Up north. Up north. Up north isn't accessible. Then yeah. to the west of that. Right. I th I thought that was an exit too, but it's it's. Oh just... oh, it's the pit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Uh, here. Yeah. I di I didn't see a pit there. Yeah, we both got confused. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does look like an exit. Yeah. All right. So. Column time. Just gonna. Oof. Oh, I know. Ooh. There we go. Just gotta keep them on their toes. And roaches are happening. Yep. Oh, I can run here. There we go. There we go. That shade lets us get into that one area, I believe. So, yeah, we are not done yet. Oh, yeah. It lets us get into that secret room. So I guess now we'll deal with that uh, chapter puzzle. Which I'm going to assume is... Im you can try it, but I'm going to assume it's impossible unless it's the southeast. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I, I don't... Okay, so... Yeah, it, it is, because there's three doors on the left side, tr three trap doors. The only way you can drop all those and be on the left side is if you started on the right side. Oh, yeah. So how do we get to that again? Oh, it's through all that. Okay, so how do we get to that? Uh, actually, it's, down, it's not through that. It's through the south of that, because it's on the corner. The bottom yeah, left I corner. Know. Yeah, I was thinking of this, and then... So that. it's that room. Yeah, I was thinking, I was looking how, about how to get that. Okay, so right. I'm guessing at this point we're getting to the rooms where we have to do them out of order. So I guess that will be next. If we're leaving this room, we should maybe take the opportunity to go north and see what that secret is. Oh, uh, yeah. Because yeah, it'll be easy enough to clean on the... Oh, I... Did. Oh. <laughs> Wait, no, I think I can restore that checkpoint. Yep, there yeah. we go. <laughs> Everything's good. Just gotta get back now. There we go. Okay. Alright, to the north. Time for a secret. Five. Mm. Oh. Welcome to the Snake Shed Peninsula, one of the most breathtaking views in my hold. Please enjoy your stay, but remember to get back to work too. Hmm, I trapped a puzzle with a five. There's another scroll on the left side, too. Oh, I'm guessing it's going to be, yeah. uh, like, the fifth number or something? 
have to yeah, do the trapdoor a... puzzle to get to it. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, how do we? Oh, right. I can do this. Leave that for later. Go there. Yeah, the five should be possible. This actually seems pretty tame compared to the other trapdoor puzzles we've seen so far. The yeah. Giant yeah, it seems like a decorative puzzle almost. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Oh, there's part one, actually. Right. After lengthy calculations, I've finally proven that the first hidden top secret mystery number must be the smallest odd prime that is not three. Oh boy, the is... smallest odd prime that is not three. Five. Five? Five. Oh, yeah, it's right in there. <laughs> a giant yeah, it's five. funny how <laughs> yeah. he gives us the, the word puzzle to get the clue, but then it's a huge number in the room for each one of them anyway. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to restore though to get back. Oh no, the red door is on the. Okay. That's right. Yeah. All right, so we can go okay. to the east. I, I wonder what the mud's for. Hmm? I guess it's I would... just decorative. Yeah. Oh, it looks like a snake. A snake said, "If you look Ow. from, uh, if you tilt your head." Uh yeah, like, snake's head, that's whatever. Mm -hmm. that's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, so oh, we're back here. Can you go north here? Oh no, I keep no. getting fooled by the. Uh... This. Yeah. Yeah, that that dastardly number. All right. So... Just in. Huh? Just in case I'm saving, I've been saving the code. I have five and two. As yeah, I so wrote far. it down too. Okay, so okay, yeah, we already read that scroll. So. All right, twenty-one minutes in. So I guess we can take a look at some of these puzzles. Okay, I'm guessing. Okay. You don't seem to have to do this one, though. Well, you will for the blue door. Yeah, for the blue door. I might as well get it done. So, gotta kill goblins very fast. <laughs> Quite a puzzle. So, time is of the essence. So, I don't want this guy to overflow. But these guys are being tricky. There we go. There you go. That looks really easy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. There we go. I'm not complaining. Okay, so now we have to solve this room and then the next three in a row. For so that to solve that room, it looks like the northeast corner is where you're going to have to start. And that would be... Okay, that would be the normal path. Okay. Thankfully, we don't have to do, redo any puzzles. Right. That's good. Okay, so from here, oh, let the roach queen through. No, she's stuck on an arrow. Okay, so there's a trapdoor puzzle in here, of course. I'm guessing now I want to start with that. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about how to kill these roach queens. Uh, not, not the roach queens, the snakes. Probably shoving a roach in there. Yeah, I think this is the uh, right way to do this tractor puzzle. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, that's not gonna... How are we gonna get... Um... Was there a trapdoor on that east spot that we... Uh, east spot, uh, you mean here? Yeah. I don't think I don't there remember. was. Oh, but there was. I don't know if that's gonna oh, change wait anything. wait a minute. Uh, yeah, I kind of dropped that one. Hmm. Let's try to leave him up, I guess. Yeah, if you enter from that, yeah, now you can. I think. Wait, isn't that the same not. thing I did, though? Just in a different way. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like this has the same problem. The uh, the center island is connected to two things. It needs to be connected with just one somehow, or like an odd number, because we have to end where the brain is. Yeah. Hmm. It's probably where the arrow. Oh, so, th so there's multiple chains of these. It's not just one. Multiple chains of what now? Multiple chains of rooms that can only be solved from one entrance. 
looks like. Yeah. Because this is completely separate from that other chain. Yeah. Okay. So, so. It, look, hmm? it looks like the top right is. Is the correct entrance. Hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, I think I see something. Yeah, so that one solitary trapdoor I think has to be dropped a different way because that's the only way to have an odd number of entrances to the island you're on now. Hmm. If that makes weirdly, sense. En weirdly enough, I think that this one? actually might there's be a... solvable starting on the west side. Hmm. There's that, that's a two that's a two length trapdoor which you can you can drop both sides of without actually traversing. Uh which one is it two length? Is this one? Yeah. So that's oh, probably relevant. All the others are three. Hmm. But uh, there only seems to be two ways to this island, though. Um, unless you start there. But there's no way to get there. Um, oh. I, yeah, I should, I should probably move this Steam chat thing that's covering... Uh, this? Part of <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the number. I was just about to F7. No, that. no. I had a a steam chat window open kind of overlapping this and it was yeah mm -hmm. okay this this room is not too hard to restart so well, from any direction so can i see what it looks like when you start in the from the west side yeah sure yeah because the purpose of that force arrow might be just to stop you from going from this room to the north uh to start from yeah. there although right. no, yeah. that, that makes sense that makes sense because you could make your way here potentially but yeah, again, an obstacle or a wall would have done just as well. So yeah, hmm. definitely. Um, but this should be solvable if you start on the if you okay from where we're starting. So if you go north first and get the west queen, then it should be solvable. Okay, we do need to think about how to get that these snakes killed though. All all of those ones are droppable without actually crossing them. Yeah. So that's important. Indeed. So you can ignore that last one until the end. So that's good for the trap doors, but there's no way to get a roach in there now. Hmm. Yeah. I'm guessing we have possibly leave. Place. Could you wait until the roach queen starts spawning and then just leave one alive, one roach? No, because you have to get get a roach out. <sighs> okay. <sighs> yeah. um, maybe you can manipulate a roach to be caught on one of the uh, one of the bushes. Inside. Yeah, I see a good spot to stash one. Those two bushes on the northeastern side of the center island. Uh, like if you're going across the the trapdoors that are next to them. Oh, it, problem. The problem is they're all brand. Yeah. Well, but if it's following you across that, and that's the oh no, I see what you mean. You're right. Mm. Yeah. If you can get the queen in the center. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of doing now. Oh, that queen's not in a force arrow. Yeah, that yeah. seems important. What yeah. if you just... What if you did have a roach that just chased you, uh, chased you and then you baited it onto the right arrow so then when you're following the snake path it will end up just going down because it's unbrained because of the arrow. That makes no any sense. And the problem is just how good are you at manipulating brained roach queens? Yeah, not very good, because now she's just refusing to do anything. Well, there's also the possibility of uh, of killing the serpents before we drop all the trapdoors. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, maybe just lure some roaches over and then just kind of step on a trapdoor or something. And here, there we go. Mm -hmm. That's a, now one roach is going to go on the arrow. It makes the move that maximizes the brained distance to you, but only in the short term. So if they don't plan ahead, they just reverse pathfind, basically. <laughs> All right, there we go. That took care yeah. of that. Now I'm just going to kill all these queens. That was an interesting room. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. I don't know if that's the intended solution, but it works. Yeah, if it works, I ain't complaining. <laughs> so, 
Gonna kill everything, drop all the trapdoors, and that's good. Right. Alright. You and boom, room clear. Good. Okay, so that opens up the bar. Oh. <clears throat> so now, next, we have to take on this room with a challenge, and this room in order to be able to continue on our path to, I'm guessing, clearing up this the southeast. One. This one. Yeah, the well, yeah, southeast. The It'll open both the southeast and the north or the west, so it'll be a double yeah. opening. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking now that we're in the region, we might as well just kind of deal with those rooms over there. Okay, this one. Which way do we do that from? Okay, that's actually another chain of events. Yeah. Yeah, that that's definitely different. Okay, I know. We'll carry on with the rooms to. I know we we'll do. Yeah, you know, we could just do what we know is just gonna open green doors and not worry about a super long path. Yeah. And see if we can open up stuff more. Yeah. So I guess we'll make our way down there and then take that on. Next. Oh boy, roaches. Roaches in the dead rooms of death room. How surprising. <laughs> okay, this room seems like I could clear it without doing anything else. Which I'm guessing would be after I take care of the other ones with the green doors. Looks like I'm gonna have to try to get the guard to stay put while I kill a snake. Hmm. Then there's the issue of the invisibility potion, which I think is gonna play a big role in all this. Hmm. Alright, well, anyway, uh, we'll end this video here. This has been Bithro Butkina 7 with uh, the Misty Maze of Mystery. With, uh, I I'm trying to think of of words that uh, continue the alliteration, but. Yeah, <laughs> yeah with uh, more people. And, uh, yeah, we'll take on the rest of this in the next video. Until then, have a nice one. See ya. Bye. All right.